name is Leo and welcome to another day of LSD the Dream Emulator. Let's get in. I had a dream last night, it wasn't anywhere near as interesting as the, the dream I had Monday. Well, Sunday night. Uh, but, ooh. Is that blood? Could be blood. Sounds creepy. Shall we have a look? Let's have a look. Why not? It's the worst that could happen. Um, but it was a it was a fun dream, but a bit of an adventure. I've had dreams similar to that. What's with the texture on that um bookcase? What is that? What is that supposed to be? Do I look down in here? What is that? Oh god, the the water closet is looking very bad today. Also, I didn't notice those lights on the roof there. Are they always there? Maybe. Do you think one day something's actually going to be up on the uh, on the roof? I don't know. I suppose we're going to find out in a minute. Well, we're going to find out something's here now. It's very dark. There's a, a blue moon. Hey, a blue moon! Yes, yes, once in a blue moon. Gotcha. Well, let's get out of here. Which should put us in the center of... Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where am I running? Where the fuck was I running? I was going ballistic for some reason, looking around all over the place. I thought I was going to run into a wall. Anyway, this should put us in the center of the natural world, where we can hopefully... Actually, can I just have a look over here? Oh! Wait, what is this? What the fuck is that? What the hell is that? There's a fucking ghost or something there. Right. Oh! Oh! What is that? Right. You gotta keep looking at it. Wait, I can't move. Let's keep looking at it. Let's keep looking at it. Let's keep looking at it. Uh, what is it? It disappears as soon as I... What the fuck? What is that? Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> that's weird. Yeah. Oh! Oh, the birds, okay. That's fine, that was, that was, they're just birds. What have we got here? Nothing. Now, isn't there a sleeping guy here? There could possibly be a sleeping guy. Oh, there's nothing. Well, that was weird. You wanna touch it? Fuck it, let's touch it. I know, I know, natural world, you want to explore and everything, but this is a unique thing that I've never seen before. You can see a shadow there, but it, it disappears the moment you, fuck, I'm just going to touch it. Let's see what happens. Ooh. A very beautiful, uh, Kyoto. All the, all the normal for once. Can you actually walk down these little corridors? Well, yes, you can. There's even little huts you can go into. By huts, I mean dwellings. Of which there's nothing inside, but just uh, really bad uh, PS1 textures. All like clashing together. Yeah, that was, that was one of the unfortunate limitations of the PlayStation 1. Was it seemingly inability to actually make, like, blocks of, ugh, blocks of textures, sort of, like, panels of textures, sort of stick together. Without having this, like, hairline gap between them. Which is always the case. Of what happened. I mean... This, I don't know why this game reminds me of Driver. I mean, the graphics are actually very similar to Driver. 
driver, driver's graphics weren't all that great. That, that's not the right way. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, oh man, wouldn't it be cool is if, uh, Kyoto's kind of famous for its, uh, cherry blossoms. Wouldn't it be cool if in, uh, like, spring, like, like, cherry blossoms were blooming? That'd be cool. That's a big, uh, butter head. What's up with those lips? <laughs> Look at the top of his head! Look at those lips! Oh, is that the end of the dream? Well, shit. Okay, that was great. So much for... Yeah, so much for uh, that, I guess. I don't know. Okie dokie. Well... Oh, it's snowed again today. Oh, I don't like snow. <laughs> it's not really used to it. It's been snowing a lot, a lot more this year than it has on other years. It's not in January. It never, usually never snows in January. It usually snows in, like, February for, like, one week, and then that's it. Or even one day, almost. But it snowed, like, what, three, four times? Which is quite a lot, and quite annoying. I don't like snow. It's annoying. It pisses me off. Yeah, let's talk about my dream. Yeah, my dream. Talk about my dream, yeah, my dream, yeah, my dream. Where'd you write it down? Uh, oh, uh, there it is. I got it. What was it about again? Oh. I almost was in my dream. I, f I forgot about that. But so anyway, I don't know what happened, but I was trying to get home uh, in Japan, presumably. And either I took a wrong bus or train or whatever. I was just trying to get home by public transportation. Anyway, I get completely lost. They end up in a train station that seems fairly big, like a, like a semi-major train station, not like a, just a, full all sense of purpose, it's just a little hut in the, in the middle of nowhere next to the train line. Um, but it, it doesn't have any, any buses or trains or whatever going to places that I knew. Everything was, all the names, like the Japanese names or whatever, Although some of the names were English names, like Australian place names, which is weird, <laughs> but whatever. It's, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Japan. Um, but anyway, I didn't recognize any of the names, is the point, right? So, yeah, uh, like I said, I assume it's Japan, but who knows. Anyway, I, I thought, oh god, I'm going to have to buy a fucking taxi to go home, which is going to be super expensive, because I'm probably really far away. I'm probably like on the other side of the prefecture. So I'm probably gonna, it's probably going to be a long ass drive. It's going to cost a bunch of money. It's too late to... Uh, like, I can't call uh, family to come pick me up. It's probably too far and too dangerous. Shit. <laughs> um, also, almost all of the passengers uh, in the... Uh, in the train station are foreigners. Like, I remember going down this escalator thing. And, uh, hold on a second. Alright, back, sorry. I remember going down this escalator thing, um, and just seeing all these, like, white people. <laughs> like, what are you, what are you fuckers doing here? And maybe there were tourists or something touring around Japan? It was like they were all Westerners. And maybe what I think is, because this is like late night, this is like midnight, 1am 1, 1 or whatever. Maybe what the deal was is they were the only people that would be traveling at this time. Makes sense. It does make a little bit of sense. Yeah, but usually my area, like all the trains and stuff, shut down at like... I think they shut down at like 9 or 10 o'clock? <laughs> Maybe even earlier than that. Maybe it was like 7. No, it would be 7. But 8, eight, eight 9, that sounds about right. Whatever it is, it's so early that it's, like, almost impossible to go out for drinks. Because <laughs> I'll never be able to get a fucking train or bus back. Stupid. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Also, at some point, I dreamed about either watching an Elvis movie or being on set of an Elvis movie. And there were a bunch of women there. They were either, like, for the movie shoot 
or they were for him, like, like his, like, personal little harem like roadies that were, you know, just, he was just going to have his way with after the show, after his, his uh, shooting his uh, movie. But I also remember there was, um, Elvis, like, says, hey, no Asians, and then points to this poor Asian lady who cries and runs away. I was like, oh, I didn't know Elvis was racist. <laughs> Such a weird thing to think of. Uh, also, I think he also said, pointed to some other, like, she was, she was alright, she wasn't that bad looking, but she, she was like a, a nerdy type, she had glasses on or whatever, and he was like, no, get out. <laughs> and she's like, takes all the glasses and like, makes herself look a little bit better. He was like, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and Elvis was like, I don't know much about what Elvis looked like when he got older. All I know about Elvis, like the, the, the later years of Elvis, watch me go to Google right now to look at pictures of Elvis, is I remember, you know, the, the Elvis impersonators, right? Of which there are plenty. I don't, are there still a bunch of Elvis impersonators in freaking... In, uh, in Las Vegas or whatever? Because I know what he looks like when he was young. And I, I I forgot what movie it was, but it was a it was a movie where he's like cliff diving, and he was young and he looked pretty good. But then what did he look like when he got older? What was old Elvis like? Because this Elvis like he had kind of shortish hair. Uh, he was going a bit. He had a bit of gray hairs, but not a lot. When did Elvis? How old was Elvis when he died? Then you should just look up pictures of, of him then. That's a smart idea. <laughs> he died. How old was he? <laughs> um, well, he was born in 1935. He died in 77. So that would have made him... That would have made him... Shit. <laughs> you can do it, you can do it. Uh... 40, 45, 45, 55, six, I'm using my fingers here. 45, 55, 65, 75. Okay, it would have been about 40. Yeah. Let's find a picture of when he's 40. 40, 40 years old. Okay, kind of looks the same. <laughs> but when he died in 77, yeah. Yeah, he looks the same. <laughs> He's only 40, so he wouldn't have been gone really gray. I don't know why, but I had the impression, I should, the impression that uh, Elvis, like, went way, way old before he died. He died early, dude, because of, uh, he, wait, why did, what did he die of? He died of, like, a, he died of, like, health problems because of bad eating habits. I don't know if it says that. So, uh, let's go with uh, life and career. Health deterioration and death. Okay, got divorced. So why did he die? Doesn't say. I want to know what he died of. Does not say. It's kind of annoying. Ah, right, cause of death, heart attack. Booyah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Aloha in Hawaii? Was that a movie? No, that wasn't a movie. That's a concert, you idiot. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what movie it was. But something about cliff diving. I feel like that was... Oh, it's whatever. Maybe it was Love Me Tender. Love Me Tender. Love Me Whatever. That's, the, that's about the American Civil War. Oh. Okay, maybe not then. Nah, whatever. Alright. So, 
when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll play some more LSD. I'll go save the game and upload this, uh, but for now, also all those, uh, all those, uh, uh what's the names, are uh, all up now. Yeah, I got them all up. Uh, the, the streams of the VR games that are all really short. Um, and, uh, then we'll have a look at, uh, the second demo disc. Uh, next, uh, next time. Whatever's on that, yeah. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you next time.